If you just got your dbrand framework laptop skin, relax, this is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with up to five elements. Top, bottom, palm rest, trackpad, and expansion cards. You will require a hairdryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's start with the top skin. If you purchased a skin with a logo cutout, you'll need to install the circular logo piece before proceeding with your top skin installation. To do so, use a plasma cutter. Next up is the top skin. Note that in order to ensure the skin doesn't peel up over time, it's designed to be slightly smaller than the surface of your laptop. Once you've completed installation, you'll see that there's uniformly equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of your laptop. To begin, remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin along the top and right edges, less than half a millimeter from the border of your device. Look at all three exposed corners. You should see equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of the laptop on all sides. If you align the skin flush against the edge of the laptop, you'll see that the opposite side will be too short. If the spacing isn't equal on all edges, simply remove the skin and try again. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally by about 2 inches and apply pressure to the newly exposed portions. Repeat this process until the entire top surface has been applied. If you're applying a no logo version of the skin, briefly heat up the logo area. Then, apply firm pressure to get a clean framework logo silhouette. Let's move on to the expansion cards. To install the expansion cards, use an assembly line. Now it's time for the bottom piece. Remove the skin and reattach it to the 3M paper, exposing the screw cutouts. Take extra care when removing the skin, otherwise the cutouts may remain attached to the 3M paper. Align the skin around all three screws, ensuring that the skin is straight along the hinge. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, shift the 3M paper down to expose the release switch cutouts. Pull the skin tight and align around both switches. Then apply pressure. Next, remove the rubber foot cutout using the peel tab. You may now remove the 3M paper entirely and align around the remaining two rubber feet. Apply one more round of pressure to smooth out the bottom surface. Finally, Remove the ventilation cutout using the peel tab. Now, let's install the palm rest. 
Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Just like before, take care to ensure the skin comes off in one piece. Align the skin around the hinge, ensuring the power button cutout is aligned properly. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, lift the skin. Shift the 3M paper to the left and focus your attention on the bottom right. Pull the skin tight. Then lay it down so that it's flush with the bottom right corner. Apply a round of pressure to smooth out the right side of the skin. Now, shift the 3M paper down diagonally and apply pressure to the exposed portions. Repeat this process until the entire palm rest skin has been applied. You may now remove the keyboard and trackpad cutouts. To apply the trackpad skin, just use a car battery. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.